Hi everyone, I'm going to teach you how to get a dashboard up in about 10 minutes using Power BI. This is a good test uh, for someone who doesn't know Power BI because it will show you how easy the tool is. So this is the data that I'm interested in. I just went to a uh, website, Box Office Mojo, and I said, look, I want to take this data and I want to put it in Power BI and visualize it. So what we're going to do in Power BI, we're going we're gonna to take this data, we're going to enter it, uh, which is loading it. We're going to clean it just in case it's not in the right format. And then we're going to visualize it. Um, so so this data, you know, if you wanted to get this data, there's a couple ways to get it. One, you could copy and paste everything. Um, you could go into Power BI. You could definitely load that to an Excel, and then you could go into Power BI, and you could say, okay, I want to get data. What type of data do I want to get? I want to get an Excel sheet. And you can go to Movie Data which I saved the, the, the copy and paste file by, go to sheet, and you can see in your preview window what the data looks like. Now, we can see there's a lot of um, data here that I don't need, and actually, the, my data starts here that I'm interested in. So that's one way, and the last way you could do that is, well, not the last way, another way you can get that, you can go to the website, put in the URL, put it here, and you could actually hit click OK, and it'll scrape that data for you. And then another way you can do that is you could enter the data the same way you did it in Excel. You could copy and paste it uh, like this, and you get the same format. And you can see that we need to do some cleaning there. Now, the most common way you're going to um, use this is you're going to probably use an Excel sheet. So let's use Excel. I save this as movie data. Um, I'm going to get the sheet from the Excel workbook, and now, I don't want to load this because it's not in the right format. I actually want to edit this and get rid of all these missing values. So let's go to edit. Once you edit this, your query editor will load, which is a fancy way of saying that you have a temporary place where your data is going to be. Now you can see my the data that I'm actually interested in starts at row 37. So I want to remove these 36 rows and get here so there's an option here that says remove rows so I want to remove what kind of rows I want to remove the top rows and I want to remove 36 of those rows so let's remove 36 and now you can see my data kind of starts here and um, there this I don't need this column so I can go over and remove this column um, now I'm getting closer to the data that I want here are the titles of the data so I want this to be the headings of my columns. So in order to do that, I just go to this option, use first row as a header, click that, and now I have the first row as a header. Now we already know how to get rid of a row because there's still a blank here. So I'm gonna go to remove row again, and I'm gonna say get rid of one row. So, and you can see on this right side, I have my applied steps. So each step you can see what the data, how the data has changed. We know it started out here and then it cleaned it here. I removed the row, I promoted headers, and right now we're here. So this is my data. I want to show the title grosses. I want to show um, uh, the percentage of grosses by studio, and then I want to show some, some time series data. So we can see that this title is not a ideal click to view. We don't need to see that. So you double click that and you can actually change the title. So our data is getting cleaner and cleaner. I double click that. Uh, this doesn't have a column. This was a theater column. So I'll just name this theater. Uh, and then column six is also the, the theaters, uh, but I don't need it anyway. So I'm just gonna remove column to get rid of that. This is the open date, which I'm interested in. The closed date I don't need because some of these movies are still in there. So now my data is looking a little bit good. Now look at this, this little marker here where it says ABC. This means this, this text is, this data is actually text. This is correct. I, I know it's text, so I want to keep it as text. This is text. This is one, two, three. This is a, a, which means it's a number. This is a one, two, three, number, number. And then you can see this calendar, which is reading this as a date. So we know that our data is in the right format. So now that we have our data in the right format, let's load it. So go over to the left and hit close apply. Now this is gonna load this into a model, what they call a data model. So you can see on the right side, here's my sheet. And here are all my different data formats. Now, the first thing I want to do is get a bar chart by movie title. So I know I want to start with a movie title. So we can see there's different visuals here. 
I want to choose a bar chart and I want to have the movie title as my axis, right? And then I want to have the total gross as my value. So you can see that you got a movie title here. And then I can go here and sort by movie title. Oops, but I don't want to sort by movie title. I want to sort by grosses. So we have a nice graph. So that's one graph that I have. I can see the movie title. Of course, we can, we can change colors and stuff, but let's get it, all our visuals up now. Now I want to see what studio made the most grosses. So I want to use a pie chart. I can use a pie chart. I go to the studio, and then I choose total grosses. Now I have a pie chart showing me that I the the grossest by studio now I kind of want to see more information here but w w of course I can I can go over to the paintbrush and I can say okay add data labels so then I can see the grosses and I would also like to see the data labels on the uh where am I on, on the um on the graph now for on the pie chart so now right now it's showing me category but I would like to see all the data so now I can see the studio and what we have here. So now we already have two visuals that are actually connected because they're on the same model. So if I chose Warner Brothers here, it would actually slice this data also. All right, let me click that off. And what if I said, okay, I don't wanna see all the movies that came out the whole year. I just wanna see the ones that came out at certain dates. So I wanna add a date slicer. So let me go here and I click this. And you can see the visuals over here. And I'm going to choose when those movies open, which is the date they open. So now I have a, a little gauge here. And I can actually change this to the date that I want. So let's say we see everything that was here. So then you can see all the movies that came out recently. And, and let me pull this over here. All right. Okay, so now we have two visuals and, and we can put borders around them and everything. So what if I wanna see the, let's go back out. And what if I wanna see a line chart. So I click the line chart and then you can see it there. And I say, okay, give me the date it open and then the total grosses. Now, when you, whenever you do a line chart, let me make these smaller so I can get it's more here and now you only see one dot because it's actually at a year you actually have to because it's a year month and day I click this and click this now we can see it's by month but what if I want to see by by day now I have a line chart now I have these three visuals that are all controlled by the date so you can see everything changes now, of course, that's an easy way to get up a dashboard. Of course, you can make this beautiful. We could we could add some borders here, you know, so we know what these look like. And we'll add a border here. And then we can make sure this, this you know, it's all lined up. Make this a little smaller. And of course, we could add a, a title here of some kind, like we could add a text box and we could say, movie dashboard we can make that text as big as I want let's move everything down oops let's move that one down and that one down and then we have our dates of course so now you, all this can be sliced and you have an interactive dashboard. Thank you. I hope that gets you interested in using Power BI. Thank you.